I'm on top of the world. But the hardest part was down there. Loose, shifting sand. The worst place to build a skyscraper. Build heavy here, and you sink. So, how do you stop the world's heaviest building from drowning? drill 50 meters down, deeper than a 15-story building. But the sand wants to collapse. So they fill the hole with slurry to hold the walls back. Then comes the steel skeleton. They did this 192 times. 192 massive concrete friction piles. But piles are just the legs. They needed a foot. the raft pour, the biggest in history. Forty-eight hours non-stop. If they stop, the concrete cracks. It fails. Day, night, it didn't matter. A solid slab, 3.7 meters thick. Solid. Now we can go up. But going up creates a new enemy. The wind vortex. Woo! At 800 meters, the wind isn't a breeze, it's a hammer. The solution came from nature, a desert flower. The shape confuses the wind. It prevents the vortex from forming. 2005, the climb begins. The central core rises first. Meet the jump forms, the machines that build the walls. These yellow machines are self-climbing factories. Steel, concrete, cure. They hit a rhythm, a new floor every three days. Faster than any skyscraper in history. But the higher they went, the heavier it got. We have a problem. Buckets are too slow. You can't build to the clouds with buckets. Enter the beast.
the Putzmeister Super Pump. This isn't a normal pump. It's a cannon designed to shoot liquid rock. The pipe runs straight up the side. If this pipe bursts, it's a bomb. The concrete would cut you in half. But speed creates heat. Hot concrete cracks. It fails. The solution? Ice. They melted giant ice block clock sinks into the mix to, mix to keep it cool. When the desert sun was sleeping. Two thousand and seven. The moment of truth. We just passed the tallest building in the world, and we aren't done. Gravity is fighting back. The friction is too high. Pressure, Pressure down. Pressure down. They added super plasticizers. It worked. But look at it. It's naked. Just a concrete skeleton. You can't sell luxury apartments in a concrete bunker. It needs a skin. The cladding begins. 24,000. 348 panels. Left, left, easy now. Lower, lower, stop. It's like trying to hang a painting in a hurricane. This isn't normal glass. It has a silver coating to reflect the desert heat. Chidang, sunglasses for the building. At peak speed, they installed 175 panels a day. Floor by floor, it turned silver. The Brame Spiderman of Dubai. And then the foreman says, that's not a support beam, that's my sandwich. <laughs> don't. Seriously, don't look down. Through the heat, through the storms. 2008, the concrete stops. This is it, the end of the concrete road, but we need to go higher. Switch to steel. 
the world's highest cranes. I'm climbing into the highest driver's seat on Earth. Woo! The crane operators slept up here. It took too long to climb down. The spire begins to rise. Just the tip left, the crown. But then the financial crash hit. 2009, the world economy crashed. Projects everywhere stopped, but Dubai kept building. The final push, the spire. They couldn't lift it in one piece. It was too heavy. They built it like a telescope, hiding it inside the building. Hydraulics pushed it up from below. Slowly, it emerged. At 828 meters, the structural top out. We made it, but we have a massive problem. The cranes are trapped 800 meters in the sky. No crane on Earth is tall enough to take them down. They are stuck, unless the cranes eat each other. The Russian doll strategy. Crane one lifts two. Crane two takes apart the big one. Then a tying crane three. And the last one? It goes down the elevator, in pieces. The roof was clear. It takes three months to clean all the windows. Then they start again. the ultimate lightning rod. Whoa, nature is testing us. Inside, it became a palace. Armani Hotel. Highest pool. Highest mosque. Opening night. It's alive. They said it was impossible. Too high, too sandy, 
too windy. We built the impossible. The question is, what will we build next? Subscribe to Next Gen Manufacturing. Next time? She is going even bigger. <laughs>